Weather modification. Weather modification has been ongoing for decades in the United States. It was perfected during the Vietnam War, leading to the ENMOD treaty signed by the United States. However, this has not stopped a whole host of weather modification programs and experiments being initiated or are now ongoing in the US and UK. These exponentially growing programs have no government or public oversight. Limited oversight in a very few states which allow them and no government or public oversight or consent for the rest of them. These programs change the climate, the microclimates needed for watersheds, negatively impact tree health and agricultural crop production. NOAA lists some of these programs, but most are not listed due to their experimental nature, military classification, university experiments, and failures to notify NOAA by various states, counties, cities, weather modification companies, and private individuals and corporations who may all be modifying your weather. Your local weather forecasts either don't know or don't report ongoing experimental weather modification program, letting the public believe that the weather they are experiencing is unusual but normal. Climate change and global warming are blamed for some weather events by meteorologists. The Weather Channel and local newscasters don't report current and ongoing weather modification programs, even when they are taking place, according to the National Weather Service. ...used by Senator Kay Barley Hutchinson in Texas, was not passed by the US Senate in 2010. Senator Hutchinson has introduced a version of this bill each year since 2005 and the public has lobbied successfully to stop passage. It is highly likely that Senator Hutchinson will again introduce a similar version of this bill in the Senate in 2011. This bill allows anyone to mitigate or modify your weather without public notification, consent, oversight or debate. This bill also has been added as an amendment to other legislation and passed. The implication for agriculture, watersheds, water supplies and who will receive the benefits or the negative consequences are hidden from public view. It is time for us all to examine these experimental weather modification programs and who is benefiting from them financially. Who is suffering the consequences of these uncontrolled programs? And how much is crop production in the United States being reduced due to these programs, which may leave many ranchers and farmers without enough rainfall, water supplies or with too much snow? There are many questions and few answers, due to the fact that few people in the United States and the UK know about these programs and how extensive they are now. The information on these programs is from the NOAA office in Maryland.